Thank you for your interest in the topic of modern LASIK versus SMILE. Both of these technologies can correct specific refractive errors, but there are important differences. LASIK has a track record of 30 years of proven technology. The current LASIK technologies and the techniques that we utilize today provide better outcomes than ever before. There's a 10-year trend of improvement, both in visual acuity and safety outcomes. New technologies may make LASIK available to a wider group of potential patients. When we take a look at the evolution of LASIK and CARS, especially over the past 30 years, we see significant advances in both technology and safety. There is a myth that eye surgeons and optometrists don't take advantage of the benefits of LASIK. This is not true. Over 60% of ophthalmologists eligible for LASIK have actually undergone the procedure, and eye surgeons are four times more likely to have had refractive surgery than those in the general population. We're proud of the fact that at the Bachner Eye Institute, over 400 optometrists and eye surgeons have undergone LASIK. The SMILE procedure is performed with a femtosecond laser. A lenticule is cut within the stroma and then pulled out through a relatively small pocket. It's capable of correcting both myopia and astigmatism, but lower levels are somewhat difficult because the lenticule is relatively thin. It, enhancements are performed with the technique of PRK. Both PRK and LASIK are on their fifth generation of technological advances. SMILE is on, on its first. The type of treatment varies with PRK and LASIK using a laser treatment called photoablation, where SMILE is photodisruption. And this is important because it affects the precision of the tissue that's removed or cut. And with PRK and LASIK, this is at a level of 0.12 microns per pulse, where with SMILE, significantly higher at 2 to 3 microns per pulse. And this affects the smoothness of the treatment. With a very smooth eczema ablation with both PRK and LASIK, and a rougher treatment area with the use of a femtosecond laser in SMILE. Myopia and myopic astigmatism can be corrected with all the procedures. It is somewhat more difficult with SMILE at the lower end because the lenticule is relatively thin and can be fragile. But currently, it's only PRK and LASIK that can correct hyperopia and hyperopic astigmatism, and hopefully SMILE will advance in the future to be able to correct this. One of the most significant advantages of LASIK and PRK over SMILE is the ability to do a customized individual ablation using the techniques of either topography-guided uh, treatment or wavefront-guided treatment. In addition, optical centration, where we center the treatment area over the line of sight or the center of the pupil, uh, can be modified using the technique of LASIK and PRK, uh, but not with SMILE. In addition, cyclotorsion adjustment is important because we know when patients lie down, their eye can rotate, and this can be accounted for uh, with a customized treatment. Other very important differentiating points is the return of best uncorrected vision. And certainly this is uh, fastest with LASIK. Uh, the next would be SMILE, and the next would be PRK. But very important uh, long-term is best uncorrected acuity, and this has been shown to be superior with both LASIK and PRK over SMILE because of the ability to do a customized ablation. In the correction of higher-order aberrations, and these are optical aberrations other than myopia and astigmatism, and these can be corrected today 
using customized treatments with LASIK and PRK, but not with SMILE. In addition, in the rare case that an enhancement needs to be performed, this can be done with LASIK and PRK, but far more difficult with SMILE. One of the temporary advantages of SMILE is a uh, decrease in dry eye symptoms, although they're relatively uncommon uh, with all the procedures. But that advantage disappears between three and six months, and all the patients following laser vision correction have a similar degree of dryness, which for most is very minimal and usually back to the level that they had prior to the surgery. There's a risk of ectasia with any laser procedure of weakening the eye, but this has been shown to be the lowest uh, with the technique of PRK. One of the advances with modern day LASIK is the ability to do a customized ablation and the technique of a topography guided treatment uh, has shown to offer the best results with a high percentage of patients uh, at 2015 or better acuity. With topography guided ablations, we can improve the topographic irregularities of the cornea, deal with anterior astigmatism and posterior astigmatism of the cornea, as well as lenticular astigmatism. In the treatment of topographic irregularities, by imaging the cornea very precisely, we can basically knock down the hilltops and improve the valleys to make the cornea as smooth as possible and improve the quality of vision. With the topographic ablation, we enter topography data as well as refractive data into the laser and then the laser uses artificial intelligence to plan an ideal treatment to improve the quality of vision. Clinical trial data of an uncorrected vision or of 2020 or better from the FDA and some other sources have shown significant advantages of doing a customized ablation uh, with LASIK uh, versus the SMILE procedure. The highest recorded results were with topography guided at 98% 2020 or better compared to SMILE at 84%. Image quality is important, and we know with outcomes from LASIK, we can go beyond the 2020 or 2015 level of uncorrected vision by improving the topography of the surface of the cornea. We know that not all patients that have 2020 vision have the same quality. We can have two patients that can read uh, the bottom line on the chart, which is typically 2020 but they may not be seeing the same crisp outline of each letter. When we look at the quality of vision uh, based on aberrations, with LASIK with a customized ablation, we can correct these aberrations, improving uncorrected vision and quality of vision. But with SMILE currently, there's no way of correcting these uh, uh, higher order aberrations. The scientific literature supports the superiority of uncorrected visual acuity and quality of vision with LASIK over SMILE. And this has been borne out uh, with many studies in recent years. Are there any advantages of SMILE over LASIK? Well, SMILE, there's a slower visual recovery. There's an inability to perform custom ablations. There's a lower percentage of 2020 or better. There's no torsional tracking. There's no dry eye benefits, at least in the long term. There's no advantage in terms of risk of ectasia. It's more difficult to perform enhancements. And currently, we're unable to treat hyperopia or mixed astigmatism uh, with the technique of SMILE. Modern LASIK continues to be the treatment of choice with the majority of refractive surgery clinics around the world. With its long track record, the continuous improvements over time, the ability to do customized ablations like topography guided, 
uh, allowing for a quick recovery of vision and a high percentage of 2020 or better. Smile will improve with time, and when it approaches the LASIK results, then we would consider offering this technology. Thank you very much.